What is going on today guys? We are back for another episode in Darkness Falls. Now, I've already started farming this bunker. The cats kind of decided to screw with my video. So, I had to uh, basically scrap what I had already. But we're starting to farm this bunker. I already took out the first body bag and I'm working on just farming these guys. Trying to get myself a key card from them. Uh, we, we need the red key card and so far, no luck. There we go. Plow through some of these guys. And this is where the first body bag was. Nothing really special has happened. Uh, just kind of carving my way through as I go. The second body bag spawn is right back there. And the third one is over here in this room, which we have not gotten to yet. But I'm going to clear up some of these gore piles. We're not getting hung up on them. And then I'll show you guys some more of the, of the zombie farming action. So all it takes is a green key card to get in through this door here and then you can open and close it as you wish so I looted all the uh, the research lockers I'll call them in the desks and I did not find anything even worth mentioning so as you can see you just approach the body bag and they will spawn and then you just hose them down kind of thing so getting hung up on the glass there as they figure out that they just need to get through the glass. Sometimes they're not exactly the smartest. What are you doing? Stupid zombie. <laughs> Stupid zombie. <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. Just cartwheeler. Bam. But anyway, the third body bag spawn is over in here. Uh, we will get to that here just shortly. Um, I'm trying to, like I said, I'm trying to farm them, trying to get red key cards, and so far, no such luck. Ooh, there we go. We got a laser sword. can actually play with that a little bit here. Maybe, depending on what we get. These, these black, uh, really tough ones, absolutely not. They are a nightmare uh, to kill. But anyway play with our laser sword here a little bit so I'll show you the stats on it real quick you can see him in the background but it's 60 and 138 versus this being 28 and 51 so it is a hell of a difference an absolute hell of a difference so now you can also use it as a knife carve up any animals carve up any gore piles and he is stuck like, a, like an idiot here we're just gonna hack chop and slice and carve him on up. There we go. Thanksgiving turkey is gone. So anyway, like I said, I had went around. I looted all them. Looted the desks. Didn't find anything really worth mentioning. Um, no, no like research notes or anything like that. No uh, laser guns. Stuff like that is all just like generic plain loot. So not too, not too happy about that. I was really hoping to get a couple decent things out of it but so far the answer is absolutely nothing <laughs> so I'll show you my inventory here in a minute well other than that laser sword that's the only thing we've got uh, but otherwise we've been getting like some hazmat gear a couple junk schematics um, and that's basically it uh, got a couple of the blue key cards and we got two more of the green ones so that's not too bad but like I said otherwise we're not getting what we're looking for um, I don't know if he changed it, so you can't can't get him here or what the deal is, but hopefully he didn't, because I would really love to be able to farm these guys and get a couple red key cards. Like I said, red key cards the only thing we need, and I'm, I want to try to farm out these military uh, military bunkers in hopes of getting them. As you can tell, they're a little bit pissed off back there, but that's okay. We're going to leave them. All right, so we got ourselves a better laser sword. Uh, it's better grade-wise uh, than the one we currently have. So it's uh, that basically means, oh, hey, we found ourselves some energy cells. Uh, but anyway, the grade basically means you can put more mods in it. Uh, it doesn't affect the damage, 
or anything like that. It just affects like basically how many mods you can put in based off the color. So the next color level up, uh, instead of having three mod slots and a paint slot, this will have four in the paint slot. So it's a little bit better. Um, makes it so you can mod it out and make them, you know, just that much better. So definitely take it. We'll definitely use it. Um, I really like the really like the laser swords on here. It's just it tends to be when you finally are able to get them that they're pretty limited on their use because you know by the time you actually get to them, um, you're kind of dealing with big nasty zombies. Alright, let's take out this body bag now. So all you gotta do is just shoot it until it goes away. Just like that. And then you can... Then you're free to search the area about where uh, you cleared out like that. So now we can come back into here and finish looting up. And we'll basically farm off from that last corridor there. There is some nice loot back in there. This is actually normally the spot where I find my lathe. I normally find my lathe either here or in an airdrop. So that's basically the two spots I've always found them. Ever. So. Crack on right through here. And you guys will see the last spawn is through this door. Now they can't get through it. These doors are absolutely impenetrable. Uh, excuse me for a minute while I clear some cats out of the way. Alright, sorry about that. The cats have already been screwing up enough of my stuff today so not gonna let them continue but anyway this is the last spot you can farm up so as you can see there's some pretty nice loot stuff in there and there is the last body bag so to open the door you take a green key card and you right click it and the door will pop open on its own or oh wait no sorry that's only with the double doors my bad but the door pops open zombies can come out now and you can just proceed to mow them right on down and none of them are dropping anything which is disappointing there we go well none of them died until now jeez ooh lots of coil gun parts I like that ooh yeah and he likes that you watch I'm gonna start looting this and they're gonna spawn Nope. Oh, here they come. Got a headshot on him. Whoops. You dead? You better be. Not gonna bother looting that one. I know better. I know better than to step all the way in there. I've gotten greedy like that before, and it's turned out very bad for me. So, gonna pop another ammo bundle open, step closer so they'll spawn. Now as soon as I loot this, they're going to spawn. Told you. Always happens. Always happens. I mean, you can basically call that like clockwork there. So take a step back. Reload the slow loading beast of a gun we got here. And just step back in and let them respawn. No. Okay. There they come. I can't believe he got that hit on me. Sometimes they have like an insane reach, it seems like. Maybe it's just me, but it seems like they can like freaking stretch. <laughs> Alright, get out of there. Trying not to shoot the boxes. I want to leave them. So we can loot them. That mutated one can't get out the door. By the way, he's too tall. And they can't bust... They can't break the door either. So, if there's a mutated one in there, they're of absolute no worry. You could sit there and you could 
poke him with a feather until he died, and you'd be safe. See? Although we do have a screamer coming now, so we need to go take care of her quick. Before she absolutely wrecks everything. They're very good for wrecking your way back out here, by the way. Well, another thing to note is... Where is she? Oh, she's right there. You gonna scream? No? Good. And she's got some decent enough stuff. So let's take a look overall at what we've gotten so far. So, overall we're getting quite a bit of coil parts. Uh, we are getting some coil rounds. So we'll basically be able to make ourselves a coil pistol when we get to it. Lots of military gear, which, to be perfectly honest, doesn't sell super great. Um, and, you know, military armor is really not that good. I mean, in comparison, we have full titanium armor on right now. So in comparison, it's six light armor. Well, technically, it's only four. I do have... No, wait, it is. it would be six. Um, it is six less, and then 34% effect resistance less as well. So it's very bad in comparison. Uh, most of it I end up just scrapping down. Say if it's under green tier here, I just scrap it down because I could always use the military fiber. Um, those arrows I could care less about. Basically, once when I'm here and doing this farming of them, I basically scrap down everything that's not worth X amount of money or just pitch the stuff that I'm not going to use, like 8 wood, don't care, um, you know, I'll keep the gun parts for the most part unless I get too full. Somebody's up there walking around. But anyway, let's get back on in here. Now we can open this door, it does cost another green key card, but, you know, it makes life easier. You don't have to walk around this way. So, again, I repeat this for, like, class research notes but mainly I farm the class research notes from this body bag um, it tends to be my best luck there this one is almost always exclusively soldier zombies so it's not really uh, good farming for what I'm after but we will farm them a little bit here they do have some decent stuff the coil parts are great and the loot back in here once we actually get through these through with farming them is pretty good so can I have I want that loot bag there we go kill him off gonna, oh I was gonna snag that one also be careful not to hit that body bag if you take out the body bag they will stop spawning so just sneak up in here grab what you can get Sneak your way on out, and we're going to do some gore pile cleanup. Whoops, not right now. You dead? Good. Need to do some gore pile cleanup so I quit getting hung up. Now, these are not the ones to be farming with this sword, by the way. Great place to get XP to if you have the ammo for it, which we definitely have the ammo for it, so we could sit here and just farm them over and over and over again. Now, if you're not patient enough to want to wait for just four at a time, you can just pop the key card doors open and let all the body bags spawn. Um, that's totally your choice. Uh, it, would, it was normally what I would do. Um, i just let them all spawn, but we're not getting red key cards. So... It's kind of disappointing. I was really hoping to at least at least get a couple of them. Lots of good lots of good weapon parts though. Was that M nope, M4. Ah, that's disappointing. I want another M60 receiver. Kind of want to Nope, not happening. I was going to say I kind of want to get greedy and go grab that loot bag quick, but Just like that. <laughs> Get greedy, why not, right? Knock them all down a little bit. Knock them down to size. 
This is why I love the AP ammo. You get to shoot through one into the next one, and it's it's great for killing these soldier zombies. Yeah, nope, don't reload. You dead? No, you're not. Playing dead. I hate when they play dead. Alright, let's check out some armor to scrap on down here. So, as you can see, we're filling up pretty nicely here. Got lots of good stuff so far. Um, but not what we're looking for. So again, I just keep repeating this. Normally, like I said, I would farm that body bag, but uh, killing them off to show you guys. There's three more of these bunkers on the map, so I'm not at all worried about not being able to farm one of them. Um, I got one more marked on the map, I believe, or two. They are quite a ways away, though, and they are exclusive to the burnt biome. Uh, you will not find these bunkers in the wasteland. You will not find them in the desert. They are absolutely exclusive to the burnt biome. So if you're looking for them, that is where you got to find them. The other bunkers that you find in the other biomes are vanilla bunkers. They're not the same thing. Screw it, I'm getting greedy. Seems to get them to spawn when you get greedy. So, why not, right? And him, don't have to worry about him. We can actually get a bit cheeky with him and, and the stick. <laughs> Just for fun, right? Why not? He can't get through the doorway, so might as well, might as well mess with him. You just sit down there. All right, and then we'll play with this guy again. Nope, playtime's over. We're going to have that safe, like, destroyed by the time we get in there. I'm not worried about the loot in the safe. The loot in the safe is not anything that I care about, to be perfectly honest. Um, basically going to be, like, mods or gun parts, maybe a little ammo, but nothing that I could honestly... Nothing I honestly could care about right now. Uh, it's not what I'm here for. Um, the hidden stashes, however, are, because that's where I normally find my lathe is down in one of these research bunkers, or the uh, Darkness Falls version of the military bunker. So, clean up some gore pile mess. You gonna spawn? Hello? I know as soon as I reach in too far... See, sometimes being a little bit patient is helpful. Come on. Not dead yet? How about now? No? How about now? I don't like killing them in there because I can't get to the loot bags as, as well. I like to kill them at the doorway or closer. I think I was going to say, oh shit. Oh shit, get out of there. Full loot, full inventory. That's bad. That could have been bad. Alright. I'll take out this body bag now so you guys can see. Uh, you just shoot the body bag and it disappears. Now nothing else can spawn back. Uh, once you kill off the body bags in here, they don't come back. Uh, it doesn't matter what your respawn for loot timer is at. Uh, body bags do not respawn. So, you know, it's up to you if you want to clear it completely. Uh, there is, like I said, there's X amount on the map, which as far as I know is always four. But, again, I could be wrong there. Um, going to start scrapping down some, some of the other armor here. But, is this safe open yet? Nope, didn't quite... Didn't quite bust it open. You know, actually, what else do we got to get rid of? I don't want to. Well, you know what? Screw it. I don't care that much. Nope. Ah, another screamer. Um, I actually don't need that, but I'll take it. Sells very good. 
almost 1500 so let's what did we have here oh I suppose that was more ammo let's use that get that out of there gonna move my stuff around a little bit I'm a bit I'm a bit picky um, let's go take out this screamer with the sword here and anybody she's gonna try to summon barrel nope regular eh, marksman's rifle all right come on up you go nope I said up there we go whoops missed all right. Soldier. Bye-bye. There's more up here. There we go. Nope. Not happening. All right. Now we gotta drop off a little bit of loot. Make sure that was it. Just take a little listen. Now I always place down a bedroll whenever I'm looting a place like this or when I loot the research lab. They are dangerous places and it doesn't take much to get caught off guard and get killed. So you definitely have to be a little bit cautious. Um, I mean, it's up to you how you play, but I like to... I like to be on the safe side with it and drop down some stuff like that. So, anyway, just going to dump some of this stuff in here. Um, I don't really know what of it I actually want to keep, but just going to dump some off in here just so we have a little bit of room now. As you can see, had a little bit of stuff from the trip here. Um, coming through the wasteland, I actually ran into uh, some of the, what you call it, uh, um... Uh, demons. Good lord. Don't know why that's so hard to... Where'd you come from? Oh! Look at these guys. Nice roaming horde coming through. Take out our sniper with the silencer on it and AP rounds. And just take out a couple at a time. Oh, I tried to get a crossing double there. That's a double. Crouch down. That's a double. Look at that. Oh, I missed. I'm a loser. I love this sniper rifle. I put this together actually just before I left. Um, wanted something for clearing the zombies around the base. That, uh... I don't care about that stuff. Uh, that wasn't... That was silenced, rather. Uh, just so... Just so I wasn't attracting them. Because it seems like lately they've been spawning more often at night around my base. Now I could I could be wrong on that. But it it just seems like they are. Man, there's garbage loot here. Yeah, okay. Enough of trying to play around with that loot. So anyway, like I was saying, these bunkers are exclusive to the to the uh to the burnt biome. You can't find them anywhere else. There's four on each map, so I took out all the all the body bags here. Um, not a problem because I do know where where the other ones are on the map. If you guys are ever in need of coordinates on a map, uh, you can look it up in the prefab, um, in the prefabs in your Darkness Falls folder, and you can find them all there. If you guys need help finding them, you're not sure exactly how to look look them up and stuff like that, let me know. I'd be more than willing to help you guys out with that. So don't be afraid to ask. Because I, I definitely could do that for you guys. Um, it's not it's not too hard to, to learn how to do it. But at the same time, I do know uh, before I actually learned it that um, I would have had no idea where to look either. So anyway, how far did we get into this? Oh, barely scratched it. Wow. Yeah, I'll show you why I really don't care about the loot in here. Big stutter. So, as you guys can see, it's pretty much, you know, 
just gun parts, nothing that I actually need. I'll take the mod, sell it, but other than that, don't care about the rest. So, yeah, this is one of the military research labs. Um, again, this is a good place to come and try to find some of the some of the future tech or laser tech, whichever you want to call it. Um, and honestly, there's really not too much of anything I want from here. Honestly, I really don't even want them pistol bullets. They're kind of a kind of a waste of space at the moment. Uh, already looted the bookshelves, toilet, nah. I think we pretty much covered everything in here. You know what? That guy can just stay there. I'll kill him on the way up. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we looted everything throughout here, and we did not find a single red key card. So, with that in mind, I'm not exactly sure what uh, what actually drops the red key cards. I'm not exactly sure. I was pretty sure, you know, uh, the first time I actually played through this, I was getting them from the 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 hazmat zombies and like the lab zombies, the soldiers. Um, I believe I was also getting them from the uh, uh da, 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 da. what the hell they are they called? Um, uh, the behemoth. Good lord, I could not think of what they were called, uh, but I was getting them from them. So anyway. Not having any luck so far, as you guys can see. We've got a lot of blue ones. We got, I think we got three, three extra greens. And, you know, coil parts were great. We got a lot of nice coil rounds and a whole bunch of coil parts. So I'm not, I'm not at all disappointed by that. I love the coil gun. Uh, the coil guns are absolutely amazing. Uh, we did get this beautiful laser blade sword. So I'm super, super excited about that. But... We still got to go find ourselves another lab. Now, I do have other ones marked on the map. You'll see I I have, like, uh, this is marked right here. Um, it's marked as the M bunker. So I do know the coordinates for them. Uh, there is one. show you this one next. So this one is out here. It's basically, like, straight across the map from where we are. It's quite a ways away. Um, now, there is two other ones on the map here. There's... One to the east of here, and there is one further north. No, no, no. East. Sorry, it's east of here as well. So there's two more to the east, and there's one to the southeast. Unfortunately, none on my side of the map. I am all the way down here. This is where I reside at, so everything is way the hell away from me. I got a bad spawn on this map. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I'm going to go find another one of these bunkers, and I'm going to try to give myself some red key cards and if i do we will we'll be taking ourselves a shot at the research lab here for the next video um one way or another i will get them red key cards i will keep farming until i get some and like i said next video is going to be the lab uh, i won't show another military bunker because i'm basically just going to go there and i'm just going to set up and farm them uh, until i get a drop so anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed a little bit of a uh, inside look, I'll call it, at the military labs. Hopefully, um, hopefully you guys have fun farming these because I I love farming them. They're absolutely a blast. Um, and yeah, like I said, if you guys ever need help finding coordinates, let me know. I'm more than willing to help you guys out in any way, shape, or form that I can. Uh, and again, be advised, the wasteland is absolutely radiated now, uh, and you will find demons in there. So it is one really, really nasty spot, and yeah, if you guys go in there, make sure you guys are prepared. That is for sure. Like I said, it is radiated now. You will find demons in there, so you will see the 22,000 HP succubus and incubus there. Um, I'll have to make a video on them. Uh, later on here at some point maybe when we go to do the lab or probably after the lab I should say it's grizzly bear or not a grizzly bear just a bear So anyway, like I said, that'll do it for this episode Thank you guys so much for being here and we'll catch you guys for the lab episode next